Hey, Dan Meyer here, and I am back once again with five more tips for you based on what I learned during my time at Wells Fargo. So I'm here uh, on the road out there doing uh, events, uh, meeting people, doing interviews, trying to find more virtual assistants for my business, and I thought I'd talk about how to connect with more clients, right? So a question I get a lot is how do you connect with clients? And here I am doing it right now. I'm actually in a hotel. I went to a business meeting, just did an interview. Um, so I'm out connecting with clients. And so I'm going to give you five tips you can do as you leave your corporate job and transition into an entrepreneur, five tips for you to help make sure that you attract more clients, right? So number one is you have to be on LinkedIn, right? So if you're watching this video, it's designed for a professional looking to leave their corporate job to start a business as an entrepreneur. That means you're already on LinkedIn. And if you're on LinkedIn, you gotta maximize your LinkedIn, right? There's no other opportunity um, that will come to you like LinkedIn does, right? It gives you contact information, a lot of times, of your connections. It shows you who they're connected to. It allows you to track things much easier, right? So you can do things on Facebook and IG and whatever, but if you're like me, if you're a corporate person who worked for 10 plus years in your corporate job, like I did as a business analyst, and you wanna transition to launching your own business, like I did to be a trainer of business analysts, for different companies, then um, LinkedIn is how I did it, right? So I did what we call um, the 333 method on LinkedIn. My good friend, Marina Simone, who is an expert business coach when it comes to network marketers, um, she had taught me this the methodology. And basically, real simple, it means that over three days, you have three, you touch people three times. And then on that, th each time you're complimenting and you're tracking what happens, you're seeing if they interact. And then after those three days, if you haven't gotten anything from them, if they haven't, you know, uh, replied or commented back or something, then you pin them and you come back to them later. But you only spend about three days going to someone's stuff and commenting on it and trying to engage with them. And you're going to people that either will buy from you or people who influence people who buy from you. So a lot of us think that if we build our social media, we put out our LinkedIn page, we have a website, people will come to us. And that happens somewhat. But the way you're really gonna get a lot of new connections and new customers is that you're going to go out and find them by doing engagement on other people's pages. You're gonna to go to the influencer in your industry's page and you're gonna comment and compliment and take note of who's following them. And the people that follow them, you invite them to follow you. And you do this using this methodology called 333. I've got other videos you can check out where you I talk about 333 methodology. Please check one of them out um, if you want to learn more how to do that. But the bottom line is you need to do engagement every day on LinkedIn. Number two, you want to make appointments. You want to have a good appointment set of app, right? So use Calendly or uh, any of the other dozens of apps out there that you can use to have people pick a time on your calendar. You want to set up your time where you're free. Don't give them a chance to book with you anytime. Pick the times when you're most able to have good conversations without distractions. I focus most of my meetings right before lunch or right after lunch. I don't do a lot of meetings either later in the day or early in the evening because I want some free time for myself to do other things. So you make appointments, you give them a calendar link. Now don't just spam them and say, hey, I have this new business, here's my calendar link. You do the calendar link after you've done some engagement for a couple of days, right? You talk to them about what you do, they're interested, they wanna learn more, then you, you send the calendar link, right? So you wanna make a pot of appointments. You wanna fill up a certain amount of your time with appointments. I try to book three or four appointments a week, and if I book three or four appointments a week, I usually onboard one or two clients. That's great for my business, because my business is not a huge business. My virtual assisting business and my business analytics business, the two things that I do mostly, both of them I can, I can usually onboard one or two clients uh, a week at the max, right? So that's what I want in my business. So you wanna make appointments that fill up your calendar to give you the amount of, of conversions into customers that you get. Number three, you wanna make sure that you do lives, right? So uh, LinkedIn allows you to do lives. Facebook's been doing it for a long time. You can do it in IG, you can do uh, different ways to stream, right? So wherever your audience is, start doing some lives. You may not get a lot of traction right away, and that's okay. In fact, if you don't get anyone to show up, you record the live and then you repurpose it, right? You save that video and you put it out there. People can come and watch it when they're available, right? But you start doing lives once a week, once a couple times a week, a couple times a month, just to start building up this consistent connection you have with your audience that they know you're gonna consistently drop value. So when you do lives on a regular basis, or you have a YouTube channel like I do, whatever it is, you're trying to, to curate content that people can then binge when they're curious about you. When they see something that you do and they, they click on a video and they like it and they want to learn more, they want to click on more videos and more videos. So whether you do lives and you save them or you drop a live at the same time every week or you drop new videos and you have them on YouTube or even TikTok, you want to be consistent. 
with that delivering you talking about your business. Not just talking about your business, but talking about the tips that you can offer, the things that you do for free to, to help other people be uplifted. These are things that are really important, right? So you can use LinkedIn to do lives and you can also do YouTube videos, right? You can do both. YouTube videos is a great place to put a repository information, right? So you wanna create content, again, that's bingeable and YouTube's the best place for this. So you may not get a, a ton of followers, but if the followers you get follow you and are engaged with you, if they're dropping comments, they're sharing stuff, then that's okay, right? So I, don't, I think I have about 1,400 followers on my YouTube or subscribers on my YouTube channel. But they're active people. They're ones that have bought from me, worked with me, referred new business to me. So I'm happy that it's not a huge business. I don't need 10,000 subscribers if they're just basically just, you know, not really adding value to my business. So the things that I do is I go on LinkedIn and I do 333. And then I make appointments based on that 333. I drop a bunch of lives and I also do YouTube videos. And the last thing I do is I do medium blog posts. I like to write, right? So I mix it up. I do some videos and I do some writing especially people that are working currently in a business, um, like as a corporate employee, you have a lot of downtime, a lot of free time. And if you're surfing LinkedIn, it's not that big of a deal. You can't spend a lot of time on TikTok at work, but you can get away with professionally spending some of your time at work um, on LinkedIn. And if you post blog posts, and I post them on Medium and then share them on LinkedIn and Facebook, but basically I like to write out, you know, something that takes, you know, four or five minutes to read, something with some tips, some meat to it, why people would want to follow me and subscribe. So I have the videos and I have the blog posts. I go on lives and I do uh, different things like trying to schedule appointments. That's what I do to connect with more clients, right? So it's a numbers game. You got to do it a lot and you got to do it consistently. I actually have a virtual assistant who manages my LinkedIn. I have a virtual assistant who manages my YouTube. I have a virtual assistant who manages my Medium, right? So I don't do those things myself. I have a virtual assistant that does those things. Now you can hire one virtual assistant to do all of them, or you can break it up into different virtual assistants. I have a VA agency, right? I employ 60 people. So it's better for me to give them side projects where they're managing some of my social media. But if you want to do that, I can help you, right? So one of the things you should do if you want to connect with more clients, you can't do your own lead generation all the time, right? You just don't have enough time and you can't do it consistently. You got to be on LinkedIn every day. And there's days I can't be on LinkedIn, but my VA is, right? There's, got, there's weeks I want to drop new YouTube videos, but I can't edit my videos myself. I'm too busy. I've got too many things going on. It's very time consuming and tedious to edit videos like this one. So I hire someone to do that, right? So focus on what you do best, which is being the face of your business, trying to attract new clients and let other people do the behind the scene things that make it look like you're doing it, but you're not. That's the secret to my success. And it's a secret to a lot of the success that I know from a lot of people that I work with, clients and people that refer business to me all the time, they have virtual assistants doing it too. So that's my talk for today. I hope these five tips helped, right? So get on LinkedIn, engage every day, make appointments, do some lives, uh, have a video repository on YouTube, have a channel out there, write occasionally, do a blog post. You can actually have these things um, play off each other. The LinkedIn lives can be recorded and put on YouTube. And then what's on YouTube can be transcribed and dumped on the medium. So you don't have to do three different things. You can repurpose the same content. That's another secret for you. So anyway, that's my talk for today. I hope it helped. Um, I'll be back again soon with more tips for you based on what I learned when I left my corporate job. So why I left Wells Fargo was to connect with more clients that I wanted to work with and wasn't told to work with, right? Ones that I can pick and choose who to hang out with, who I can do business with, who I have opportunities for collaboration. I could not do that when I was employed by somebody else. So that's my talk for today. I hope it helped. Now, I encourage you all to please subscribe to the channel, uh, drop any comments you might have, and otherwise, I wish you all a wonderful day ahead. Take care. Thank you.